going, everybody? Welcome back to Level Diecast, episode 47, part number D of the Diecast Hall. This is everything else uh, that I've picked up recently. If you are just dropping into this video, I will uh, link the uh, part one at the end. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, I did pick up all the latest Kaido houses. This is the latest wagon. This is the green one, uh, number 23, which is pretty cool. So... We'll set him sideways, put him over there. Um, also picked up the latest 510, uh, just the coupe, the regular one, in pink. Looks pretty good. That one is pretty cool. So we got the pink one, put that one out there as well. Uh, also picked up the uh, newest Silverado. This is the Dually Silverado. That is the Dually. So that one's pretty cool. You know, it's it's a, it's a square body, and I'm, I'm not a huge square body guy, but uh, I like me some Kaido, and I like me some Mini GT. Also picked up the Hornet. This is the latest R34 as well, with some carbon fiber bits. Anytime, baby! Uh, there it is, just a regular one. Obviously, none of these are chases or anything. I don't, I don't, I don't do chases with the uh, Kaido houses. That's just a, it's just a kind of a waste of money in my opinion. Um, and then, of course, the latest R33, which I think is the best of the entire mix in blue, which is significantly better than the one that the original one in purple. Of course, the box is purple, but the car is blue, so that is rather interesting. So we'll put him on that side since he don't fit on the other side. Uh, picked up some M2s as well uh, as I continue to stack up the uh, generation, the uh, adventurer generation of Ram pickups. That one looks okay. I don't like the deco on it. The Sweethearts is kind of meh. But it's, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. But the truck looks pretty cool. It's basically the Little Red Express truck. So kind of put him to the side. We're going to need way more space than we have here. A uh, couple other releases. Um, I've been looking for this orange one forever. This one seemed to be pretty difficult to get at first. Um, I got lucky enough to pick this up just recently from a swap meet. So I'm super happy about that. And then this is the another one of the newest releases. See the bed's not super perfect, but um, I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right when it gets opened up. We'll see how it works out. But uh, that looks pretty good. Just a, another Dodge truck. So quite a few of those. Probably put those all in a video at some point in time and crack them all open. Uh, also got one Welly. This is the Lotus... Uh, uh, I think this is the Emirage, Emirage, something like that. Forget what it's called exactly, um, but it's not sealed, so I guess we can go ahead and pop it out, and take a look real quick. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So there you go. Looks pretty good for being, uh, you know, cheapy. There is the Deets. Of course, there it says Welly on there. The Emira. Looks pretty good. That's a, I mean, Welly makes really good castings. I really wish we could get these here in the U.S. This one's really, really nice. Lotus on the back with some tail light prints. It is left-hand drive for that particular one. The car is powered by a V6. Very interesting. Very interesting for sure. Throw him up there. Uh, got some Hot Wheels to knock out. Of course we do. That's just the way it works. I actually picked up some mystery models. Um, so I'm kind of curious what are in here. Obviously, if uh, we pull a Bugatti, that would be pretty cool. But uh, I don't think any of these will be Bugattis. This is the like original style of mystery. Hot Wheels did these back in the day. The Black Blister, which I thought was an interesting choice. Uh, no deets or nothing on the back, nothing like that. No, no fancy stuff. They do have a little code there at the top. Um, you see they are all different codes. So EJD, 6 in 7... Uh, and VTW, so all of those have different codes. Uh, couldn't tell you what else is rare on the mysteries. I just got these just for the sake of entertainment purposes. So crack this guy open, see what we got here. This is the um, T track, I think is what this is called. Track T. There we go. With some details on the side, rod and customs. It's an all right one. That one's just going to go in the, uh, throw it in the dollar bin thing. We're just going to throw that to the side. Nothing fancy with that one. Crack open our next mystery. See what we got. Ooh, check that out. 
Muscatine. There is the Bugatti. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Definitely going to add that one to the collection for sure. The white and silver with some blue. Very, very cool. The original Shiro, I'm sorry, the original Veyron uh, casting. I'll put it in like right there. He's not quite top tier, but he's, he's pretty close to top tier. If I put him top tier, we might not be able to see him. Uh, and then one last one here. This one is the uh, Riley MK, I think is what it is. So, Riley and Scott MK3. This one in blue with number three on it. That's kind of cool. I actually do collect this casting, but I, I think I have this version, but I bought it loose. So I was kind of curious where it came from, but uh, now I know where it came from. But we're going to, we'll throw it up there because I'm not really sure, but that's super cool that I got the Bugatti. Super cool I got the Bugatti. Uh, some older stuff, a couple other things here. Just a color for the uh, old school limousine I didn't have. Of course, it does say limousine on the side from the Low and Cool series back in the day. Collector number 716. We'll pull the limousine out of there. Has your gold trim on there. It says limousine on the side. Some wire wheels. It's I. It's it's okay. It's it's a Lincoln. It's a Lincoln for sure. But uh, it's 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 an interesting one. Um, and then a black wall uh, blue card 80s Firebird. This one with the kind of crazy graffiti stuff on there it does have the screaming eagle on the hood which is kind of cool so collector number 256 that is a brown back too by the way that card was like pretty much dead mint when i cracked it open love that screaming and look i get up my own like uh my own uh spider web or whatever interesting very interesting uh anyways uh, there's the screaming eagle on the side there looks pretty good it's a pretty cool one. It's all like neon colors. Super, super early 90s. Um, it's like 91. So you'd expect to have some crazy colors like that for sure. Uh, one is a wheel variation. Just the five spoke of the Shadow Jet. I have this as a black wall, but not of the five spoke. Uh, collector number 182. So pick this one up. Really nothing fancy. Oh, wow. You know they use those little backer thingies back in the day interesting okay i've been doing that for longer than i thought uh shadow jet nothing fancy just regular really really nothing to talk about there we're just gonna just gonna move on from that guy it's a super average casting um and then um i am gonna start collecting the shadow jet 2 so i thought this was kind of cool um it also comes with the uh ultra hots wheels so uh it's kind of the way that i collect from older hot wheels Based on some Ultra Hots, so kind of hard to see the wheel in there, but it's Ultra Hots wheel. So metal based on this one, plastic body, kind of futuristic. There's a driver in there, which is kind of cool. So kind of an interesting thing. Really nothing fancy there, but uh, just something else to collect. All right, B case regular treasure hunt. Yes, I finally finally got one. This one's actually quite popular uh, for one reason really, and one reason only, and of course. The only way to see that reason is you have to crack it open because you don't know anything about that other fanciness unless you do. There is your treasure hunt symbol. Nothing fancy. It says Hot Wheels on the side. I do really like this casting. This is Ain't Fair. It's got a bike on the front, which is kind of cool. It's all stanced out and whatnot, slammed, and there's the motor. But the coolest part about it is, is if you move it on this side, boom, you got two turntables, which is super cool. Coming off the wheels. Such a cool, cool look. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I really like that a lot. Super, super cool. Way cooler than this side. But again, you would never ever notice about those two turntables unless you cracked it open. So I do recommend that you crack open all the things. All the things. All right. Uh, got a couple of items I have been searching for for a little bit. Um, they have been uh, eluding me. Um because my my wallet doesn't really want to um, doesn't really want to fork out the cash money. These are the ninety five treasure hunts. Uh, these are three castings. Um, if you guys follow my channel, if you've seen my collection, you know I really do like thirties Eras cars a lot. Um, these castings I collect from Hot Wheels. These are uh, some of the biggest hitters I had yet to get. 
the Rolls Royce Phantom II, the Classic Caddy, and of course the 31 Doozy. They did the Auburn in 1996. So I got that Auburn in 96 as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is a super cool version. These two are the, are the coolest. The classic caddies, whatever. But uh, I got a pretty decent deal. I, I knew the guy that was selling these. So I got kind of an okay deal on them. I, I wouldn't really say I got a great one. Um, but certainly less than what I would pay uh, just the average person just to walk up uh, and scoop them up. So a few other basic carded stuff. Um, I did not start collecting this casting until like 2022, so I didn't have the 2021, happy 2021 uh, Carbonator, so pick this one up, nothing fancy, Carbonator's been around for like 10 years, so lots and lots of different versions, it is a bottle, and of course there is an actual bottle cap right there, it does come with those arrow blades, which is a relatively popular way to do that one. Uh, this is from one of the previous anniversary series, uh, 51st anniversary series of looks. This is the uh, Rat Bomb or something like that. Ast Aristo Rat, there we go. Uh, another casting that uh, I, don't, I don't hunt down, but uh, if I happen to come across one that I don't have, I will certainly scoop it up. This does have the adjustable front chip spoiler. This one happens to be uh, covered in all kinds of red gunk. I guess that's, that's purpose, I guess. Nope, that's definitely not purpose. Hopefully that's no kind of like toxic stuff or anything. But uh, yeah, that's... that's it's hard, to, it's hard to show it on my hands, but uh, it, there's literally a bunch of red residue um, on the plastic that's coming off. So uh, I guess if I uh, pass out while this video is being shot, uh, you guys will never see it. But uh, there you go. Uh, and then this one I picked up because, you know, I like the weird stuff here. This is the Street Wiener. This is just a uh, Deco... Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have because I don't remember a purple base uh, with some green wheels. So there is your street wiener just done up as a hot dog. And then there's a grill in the back, uh, which has a you know thing that folds down and closes up, which is kind of interesting. And then, of course, the front of it is, is literally a spatula, uh, which is uh, kind of a cool design, kind of an interesting design. Uh, let's see, a few more Hot Wheels. Um... Literally just picked these up today. Um, I picked up the Gran Turismo set. So I'm super, super happy about this. Uh, these are not being cracked open yet. Um, these are going to go in the Gran Turismo display. If I can put together a second set, I will definitely crack them open. But um, it's it's a little bit difficult. This uh, BMW is not hard to find. Or, I'm sorry. These are all impossible to find. But this is more than one per case. It's like two or three per case. So that one's not that big of a deal. Same with the Porsche. Uh, the Porsche, I believe, is three per case. That one looks super cool. The 911 GT3 RS looks very, very good. Got some window print on there as well. Uh, this one appears to be just one per case, the GR Supra. This also comes with a metal base. First two were plastic bases, but this guy is a metal base. So pretty cool about that. Uh, Mustang is a three per case, I believe. So the Shelby GT500 card art looks fantastic. This one is also a plastic base. So kind of a mixture of metal and, and plastic. Uh, but this is the one that probably everybody's going to have the hardest time finding. This is the GTR. This is only one per case. Um, and of course, you know, scalpers are buying up all the GTRs because, well, you know, they are scalpers and that makes them terrible people. So I will uh, crack those open uh, when I get another set. Sorry about that. Uh, but I got to get another set in order to uh, keep those ones for the Gran Turismo display. All right, did get a few monster trucks. Uh, been a little bit since I got some monster trucks because I can't find anything new. Uh, this is like the B or C case of monster trucks. I've only picked up two because they're pretty much all fantasy. So the Unimog and the Bigfoot are the only two I've scooped up. I already have the uh, Hot Wheels Pizza Company of the um, Bone Shaker. And then the Godzilla is the exact same one from last year, unfortunately. But I uh, was definitely happy to get the Unimog because the Unimog is super cool. So we'll get the packaging out of there. Loading up on some packaging. There is your Unimog. Looks cool. Does utilize that kind of newer hub wheel on there. Looks looks good. The uh, chain wrapped tires, which is always a cool little look. Uh, that is a new chassis. Um, I believe that's a new chassis in there. It's got skulls on it. So you got skulls on the back. 
Um, and then you got kind of bones and stuff on the side. Very, very interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. But uh, it is a new chassis, I think. I don't believe I've seen that chassis before. But the Unimog looks good. Super premium prints all the way around. Number 24 on there. Probably for 2024. Hot Wheels Racing looks good. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Hot Wheels Racing. Little bit of everything. So we'll throw him right there. And then, of course, it does come with one of those fixed plastic crushed cars. That one is the, um, the wagon. Uh, also picked up this one. This is the Treasure Hunt. This is a 2023 Treasure Hunt. This is Mrs. Bigfoot. Um, I actually got this hooked up from a buddy. My buddy Donnie. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Um, hooked me up with this one, so I'm pretty happy about that. Definitely one of the uh, Treasure Hunts I wanted to get for sure. Because uh, that's just cool. It's just make Mrs. Bigfoot. That's just super cool. So... There is your Mrs. Bigfoot. I really like the details on the side. Looks good. Some Summit Racing on the back. Of course, your red line tires on there because that indicates a treasure hunt. So when you see those with the red line tires, it's treasure hunt. Uh, in the basic releases, they do some premium or some special releases that have some red line tires. Obviously, those are not treasure hunts. But that one looks pretty good. Cool. Details on the top look pretty good. Just uses the standard um, chassis for this one. Of course, it is a Ford truck um, for the Bigfoot because, of course, it is. Just kind of put it there. Uh, this one comes with the coupe, which is the uh, time of taxi, basically. So that is the crushed version. Um, and then the last one I picked up is the other Bigfoot that I mentioned previously. So Udemog and uh, Bigfoot are 2024. The Mrs. Bigfoot was from 2023. But uh, the Unimog and this one are just regular releases. There is the uh, other one that comes with. It's also red. So both the Unimog and the Bigfoot come with the exact same ones. There is another new chassis. Very, very interesting. Look at that. So this chassis is wood. Um, and it's got all this wood paneling on the side. There's a ladder on there. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. I don't... I don't think I've seen um, these chassis variations before. So it does say Mattel. Get that to focus a little bit. I do apologize. Made in Thailand. That's kind of cool. The uh, truck itself is kind of uh, patinaed out. Rusted out. Stuff like that. Like it's been sitting out in the field for a long time. Uh, engine details are black. The front grille is black as well. That is uh, the same piece. The engine and the grille are the same piece. So that looks pretty good. Super premium prints as well. Bigfoot looking fantastic. Black hubs on this one looks really, really good. I actually like that one a lot. That one's actually, that one might be the coolest version of the Bigfoot yet. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. All right, got a couple of Johnny Lightning, some older ones. This is Surf Rods. I picked this up because this is the, uh, World. they call it the World War II Ambulance, but this is a, a Dodge series. Uh, I figure what they I figure what it is, um, but that's why I picked this up. Um, this is kind of like their cheaper, cheaper era here. So it does have plastic tires. Um, unfortunately, it does not have rubber tires, um, but it looks okay, which is kind of interesting because they actually still put the rubber tire on the model right there. It says uh, beach uh, blanket boogie. Interesting. Looks pretty good on the front. Not a not a ton of print for this one. does have an opening hood. There is the engine detail lab in there. looks pretty good. The uh, surfboards on the top are fixed, but they're painted up. It looks okay. So i got to figure out where to put this. Obviously, I can't put this with the other World War II ambulances because it just doesn't work that way. There is your base, Dietz. Really nothing nothing doing on that one. I'll have to put him on the top because he's, he's a tall one. Uh, this one... Uh, I can't tell you I've ever seen this casting from Johnny Lightning before. Um, heard of it. I've seen pictures of it. Um, but I've, I've never personally come across it. 1982 Porsche 911 Turbo in silver. The card is not perfect, but it's not too bad. This was a new casting at the time. Uh, looks like uh, it's going to be... Uh, 2003. So, quite some time ago. But uh, obviously I got it because Porsche, you know, just because uh, Porsche. So get this guy slid out of there. Get our packaging out of there. 
There is our 911 Turbo in silver, which looks fantastic. It's actually pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy weight. Uh, details look really, really good. does have an opening uh, engine cover there. It's uh, pretty loose, but uh, that's super cool. Details look good. Details on the side, the uh, rubber tires, which is nice. I didn't have a rubber tire on the other one, but this one does. That is the exhaust right there at the bottom. That's not a defect or anything like that. Prints look good. Details look good. Not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Um, nice beefy size, too. It's not super skinny like most Johnny Lightning. So that one is pretty, pretty cool. All right, next up, we do have a couple of Maestos that I picked up. Uh, this is the Toe & Go. Um, I've been looking for this one for a little bit. It's been out for just a little bit. 1993 Chevy 454 SS, which is the OBS, and the Camper Trailer. So, like I said, been looking for this one for a little bit. Obviously, it's been popular because it's the OBS. But, um, sorry about that. The blister was a little bit, a little bit bigger than I anticipated it. So, we'll just pop these out of there. They do these premium versions for the uh, haulers and stuff here. So he does have uh, some bigger slicks in the back and some smaller ones in the front. Um, it does have a topper on the back. So that's what this is for is to hold that topper on. So we will just strap that and pull that off. There is the truck without the topper on there. Of course, it does have the trailer hitch on there. It says tow and go on the plate. It's pretty nice. Full details all the way around. Of course, it just is a screw, so you could take that out if you don't want to deal with it. There is the prints for the front. Looks very, very good. Nice cowl hood on there as well. It's a pearl white. This looks good. Looks really, really good. Definitely like those, those details on there. The topper here is just a little piece of plastic with a little bit of a lip on there. It just sits on there. It doesn't strap or nothing like that. It just sits there, but it gives it kind of the, kind of the drag look. Uh, and then it comes with the camper trailer. This is uh, an original design, a.k.a. it is a generic. But it looks pretty good. Kind of looks like an Airstream. Kind of has that vibe for sure. Uh, just says racer on the back of it. Firestone has some rubber tires on there as well. And then just a metal base. And then, of course, it does hook to the truck. And you can tow it around, which is pretty cool. So I do like those details. So I think we'll put that mm, probably right there. But I got a way cooler one. Uh, this one's super, super cool. Um, I only bought this because I collect this B61 Mac. But this is actually their um, adjustable suspension um, Riviera there on the back. Um, they did have one that was a Caprice as well. But um, I didn't like the truck that it came with. And I, 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 I Personally, here at Level M, we could, we could care less for low, uh, low riders. We're just, that's just not our thing. Um, we, I mean, we like diecast though, and if it happens to be a low rider, then that's cool. That's cool. But uh, I bought this because I wanted the Mac, but I also wanted to check out this adjustable suspension. So get this popped out of there. So much plastic in this haul. All right, so there is our Mac. Um, does have the tow uh, hook or whatever that goes up and down like that. Um, you can also put down the tow bar. So this is actually what you send the car on, but you can set it like that. Roll around looks pretty good. There's no details really on the back. A little bit of silver print towards the bottom, but that's it. The rear section here is plastic. Looks metal, but it is plastic. This truck is almost entirely plastic, uh, with the exception of just the cab. And not the fenders, but just, just the cab section itself is metal. But lots of uh, chrome and stuff on it looks pretty good. It says Maesto Lowriders. That is pretty cool. So full automotive. Oh, gets closer. Mm, maybe repaints, maybe. But uh, it looks pretty cool, actually. A little bit of pinstriping on the hood is cool as well. So there is the Riviera. So it does have, again, the adjustable suspension. Probably should have read how exactly this works. But uh, I thought you just... Squeeze it, maybe. Maybe you pull it down. What do I know? Uh, let's see here. They released some of these for the Diecast Expo. Oh, there we go. That one moved. So maybe this one will just... There we go. Bink. All right, there we go. So there is your normal ride height. 
and just roll it like that. It looks to be about as high as it'll go. Uh, but then you can, of course, set it down. There's like little uh, clicks. So that's the highest version. And then you can do like just slam the back of it, which looks pretty freaking cool. So you get kind of like that stance look to it. Um, you can also do something ridiculous like the, the front end looks, oh, that, that's kind of cool. It's kind of an interesting look for the Riviera, but that's uh, actually kind of cool. I'm actually kind of wish I would have got the uh, Caprice now. But uh, very, very interesting. Very interesting. You know, I was going to get rid of this uh, Riviera because I didn't really care for it. But uh, maybe I'll keep that. Maybe I'll keep that Riviera. Because it's actually kind of cool. It's actually kind of cool. All right. Um, one more Hot Wheels item. And then I got a bunch of Matchbox stuff. I got this BJ and the Bear Thunder Roller. I got this in a trade. Uh, this is a pretty hard, hard, tough to find piece. Um, and of course, it's super heavy. It's a heavyweight. It's a big deal. Uh, but I, was, I, I really wanted this. I like trucks. You guys know we, we like trucks here at Level M. So had to uh, figure out how to get that one for sure. All right. I got a slew of Matchbox. Um, some older Matchbox here. These, This one is the Hondura. Uh, this one is with the Rider. Um, so pretty happy to add this to the collection. I do not have any of these motorcycles with the Riders. There is the Hondura. That is super, super cool. So rubber tires on there, five spokes as well. The integrated kickstand looks good. So does uh does steer, put the uh, drivers on there. It is a uh, hard plastic, which is super, super cool. This is a very, very, very cool piece. Um, I'm really, really, really excited to have that one. So we'll just set that right there. And then we'll set the box elsewhere. Because it's not going to stay in the box. It's going to be in the collection. So next one we're going to pull out here. This one is the uh, police motorcycle. Uh, this one also has the uh, rider on there as well. So that one is super, super cool. That is a sticker in the back there. It says police on the side with the police officer in blue. This one is super cool. It's a different bike. It's not the same bike as the other one. This one's super, super cool. This one is just... Uh, Hard plastic tires. I feel like that one was rubber tires. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, that one's hard plastic tires too. So there you go. A couple of hard plastic ones. There we go. And then I got one more. This one is the Harley Davidson. Um, not really sure how I ended up coming across these. But uh, just kind of worked out that way. So we'll get our... Harley Davidson out of there. This one is super, super cool. Another driver. It is the same style of driver as the first one. They just sit differently on there. There is the handlebars and stuff like that. Looks pretty good. In brown, this one is rubber tires. So that one does have rubber tires. It's super, super cool. Look at that. Looks super, super cool. Macau base. Those are pretty neat. Pretty neat to add those up. I like those a lot. Uh, I got a row boxed model. Uh, this is what they call the row, the rest of world. Um, this is what the Matchbox came in for a long time. Uh, window boxes throughout the uh, late 90s and early 2000s until they ended up getting rid of the boxes. So this is the Lotus uh, Elise in white, which I did not have one in white. Yes, I will hold on to these boxes. I do keep all these boxes. That one, I got lucky that it just happened to open perfectly fine. This is the other models that are in this particular mix. So this particular one was not available in the U.S. This Lotus Elise, we did not get this one in white here in the U.S., but this one looks super good. That is a metal base on the bottom as well. Uh, this was only like the second, maybe the third release of this casting at the time. There is some deets in the back with a little bit of till I print and the Matchbox logo right there on the front. So we'll put him in the little holster up there. And I finally, 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 finally got this Super Chase. This is the Porsche Macon. So this is not only a Super Chase, uh, but this was a brand spanking new casting uh, for 2023. So we'll just rip him out of the blister because 
Uh, we are going to tear him open for sure. There is your super chase. Super happy to finally find this one. So we'll pop him out of there. A little protector plastic. Get the card out of there. Very, very cool. There is your base deets for this brand spanking new casting. 1367 is the man number. S23 is the date code. Super chase. Looking good. Full deets all the way around. This is Porsche on the side. This is a really good casting. It's a really, really good casting. I'm really, really, really stoked that I finally, finally got one. Finally got one. So the only thing I'm missing for 2023 now is the orange uh, GTO um, moving parts super chase, which is impossible. It's impossible. All right, a couple more uh, Matchbox items here. I did pick up a Mario Kart 64 five-pack. Um, I have been trying to search down all of these licensed five-packs. Um, I always skipped over them over the years because I thought they were ridiculous. But my Ultra Completist has dropped in and said, you must get these all. So this particular one is Mario Kart 64, which is uh, not exactly an easy one to come across. Comes with the limo. Of course, Mario is the limo. Uh, this is the uh, you know generic limo. This uh, debuted in, I want to say like 2001, maybe 2002. Originally came in black. It's got the open uh, top in there, which is just, it's kind of an ugly, ugly one. Uh, the Pontiac Solstice. Uh, this was uh, an interesting choice for Matchbox to do back in the day. Uh, this casting looks pretty good if you get it in the right uh, decos, but as you can see, there's no details on this whole thing. Just Luigi on the side. So kind of, kind of bleh. Uh, and then we got uh, Wario. This is for the generic Hero City Ambulance, which has no interior to it. and has those ugly crown wheels, but it does have Wario on there, which is kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. No uh, deets on the front or back of that one. Uh, another interesting choice, this is the Ram SRT10, but it is a lifted one. They never did a stock uh, kind of ride height one, which is kind of a bummer. This is for Donkey Kong. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Some Donkey Kong on there. I think it fits. I think each character has kind of fit the model thus far. I don't think it's anything fancy. Um, and then you do have the billboard truck there at the bottom, which is just general... Mario Kart 64, just a little bit for everybody. The Hero City billboard truck. Um, just ugliness, ugliness, ugliness. And, of course, this one is in several colors. You got kind of a orangish uh, window, orange base, green uh, base color. Then you got the white and then the print on it. Just, just really, really interesting. Um, really interesting for sure. So I'll set that guy aside. I got one more Matchbox 5-pack. Did pick up Sonic X as well. So, again, trying to get all these. I have, there's there's Nickelodeon, there's uh, Robots, there's SpongeBob, um, there's some other ones. like, And then they, they went to the, the newer style ones where they had like two cars and then a card on the top on like a big blister. I don't have any of those ones. And they did like Batman and all kinds of stuff like that. Those ones are, are difficult to get for sure. Um, you definitely have to pay out if you want those ones. So, go over what we got in this one. So, another oddball casting from back in the day. This is the Pontiac Piranha. This was a concept car. Uh, never came to fruition, which is good because it's a little ridiculous. Um, it is Sonic. I think it's an interesting choice for Sonic. I think he should have been in a much, much faster car. That's just my opinion. Next one up is the Volkswagen Beetle 4x4 Off-Road. Uh, this is the second iteration of this casting. The original one had an opening hood, and then they got rid of the opening hood. Uh, this is for tails. It does have a uh, purple base, which is weird. But, uh, you know, these were more geared towards kids for sure. These were definitely geared uh, for kid appeal um, almost entirely. The Nissan Xterra for Chris. This is the... Uh, Lost the uh, surfboards on the top. When this was a new casting, it came with surfboards on the top. I still think it's just a fantastic casting. I really think Matchbox did a fantastic job with this one. Uh, it does have an opening uh, hatch in the back. There's a ton of cargo in there as well. 
So that never changed uh, the cargo and stuff like that. They did retool this casting um, for the moving parts line. And then there's Knuckles, which is the Chevy Suburban, which is really cool with the super chrome gold base, which looks super, super cool. And then dark, uh, like, candy red for the uh, base color. This one actually looks pretty cool. So, of course, you know, you got to make the, the evil ones look a little bit cooler. So, and then, of course, Dr. Eggman has the Ford Transit van. So, plenty of space on the side there to put his gigantic frame on looks pretty good i do like that a lot looks like the uh these are all like original uh designs from sonic you know these are not uh computer generator nothing like that so that's pretty cool of course china bases on these so still some pretty cool stuff let's see we'll put that to the side a little bit uh and then just a couple other items that we'll roll out with i did get a couple of uh, Atomica Limited models. Of course, I got trucks because I like trucks. That is the um, cement mixer. Looks pretty good. So it doesn't specify, I don't think, the ne specific name on the outside. It's a bunch of uh, print that I just don't read. I thought it said it on the inside. I think normally they have a little marker right there that say what it is. But these are sealed. So that's the tape on the bottom is still there. But that one looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy about the... Uh, the cement truck, I'm kind of put him to the side. The delivery truck here looks pretty good as well. I like the uh, wheels and stuff like that. The details look fantastic. Oh, there you go. Isuzu Giga. There you go. Isuzu Giga mixer for UBE. And then the Giga delivery truck. That's pretty cool. You got to be smarter than the package. And then that one uh, basically says fire truck. I'm just going to assume. It basically says fire truck. Uh, but there's the fire truck. That one is super cool. I don't know if I'm going to crack these open, but uh, I probably will because I want to take a look at them. I think they're kind of cool. They're uh, they're not as detailed as like you know the limited vintage neo type stuff that they do nowadays, but it's still a pretty cool, still a pretty cool mix. So um, I guess maybe we'll move our motorcycles out a little bit. Maybe like like maybe. Mm, I mean, like, cha. These things don't uh, stand up very well for having uh, kickstands on them. Um, and then I guess we'll move our Super Chase over, put our Mac there, and then we'll just kind of have those guys kind of just chilling in the back because just a jumbo, jumbo, jumbo haul. But anyways, there is the haul. That is episode number two. There is no episode number three. We have covered it all. Um, and then everything else uh, from the first haul, the Major Ed stuff, um, we'll be dropping additional videos for that stuff uh, coming right around the corner. So anyways, appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Let me know if you had a favorite here. Let me know if you think anything of this is super, super cool. Uh, personally, um, I'm just really happy to get this guy. Finally get that guy. Just mark him off the list and be done with him. So uh, anyways, we're going to roll out. We'll catch you on the next haul. Level him, Doc S-A-N. Peace out.